Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play DS games on your PC. All the links will be provided in the description. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first link in the description is going to bring you to this emulator. Now you need to download this emulator and you're also going to need to download an application called 7zip so you can extract the emulator. Once you've downloaded both of those and have the file on your desktop, you can then right click it and extract to. Now that'll create its own folder and now you can just delete the zip as it's not needed anymore. And we can just open up this folder with the emulator. So it's going to be this application file right here and you just want to open that up. So first of all, when you first open the emulator, the window is going to be really big. So what you want to do is you want to go view, window size, and I'm going to set it to 2.5. Now you guys want to go to config, emulation settings, and then where it says CPU emulation mode, you want to tick the box where it says the dynamic recompiler, and you want to make sure the number's on 100, and press OK. Now to ensure that we get the best audio, go to config, sound settings, and then set it to synchronous, and then you want to make sure that sync method in is selected and then you can press ok now you guys want to go back to config and then down to high resolution 3d renderer now you can choose to see this on 4 but i'm just going to leave it on 3 as i do have some performance issues when i set it to 4. now you guys want to go up to 3d settings and for the renderer if your computer has a gpu OpenGL should work fine, but if your computer doesn't have a GPU, you might want to use soft rasterizer or play around with some other options and see what works best for you. Now you also want to check the box that says enable anti-aliasing. And once you've done this, you can then press OK. Now you guys want to go back over to config and then go to frame skip and then select this to 9. Open up config again and then go back to frame skip. And make sure that both of these boxes are selected and it's set on 9. Now you guys want to go to hotkey config and then set something for your fast forward. What we just did in the frame skip settings is that we made it so that if we want to fast forward our game it'll be smooth. So now that you've mapped the button you can then just press ok. Now you want to go back into config and then go down to the bottom where it says fast forward slow motion speed limit and make sure that it's set to slow 50 fps and fast unlimited. Now from here you can go into controller config and this is where you're going to map your controller. So for up, you're just going to press up on your controller and so on. Now Bluetooth controllers do work with this emulator, just make sure that it is connected to your PC before you open the emulator. Once you've mapped your buttons, you can then press OK and now to open a game. So to open a game, what you guys want to do is you want to go over to file and you want to go open ROM and then now you need to find where you have your ROM stored. I have my ROM stored on a USB drive connected to my PC. So I'm just going to select that and then select the ROM and as you can see it'll load up just like this. Also if you go to the view section at the top there'll be a section with the screen size and I recommend setting this to one of the options near the top and this will just make it so that the screen that you're actually playing on is bigger and then the second screen is smaller and you can also change the LCD layout so you can choose to have it vertical or um, in this uh, landscape um, but yeah so I'm just gonna play the game and show you guys how it runs 